Million pounds, 22 identical sealed boxes, and no questions. Except one. Deal or no deal. to this uh, Tuesday and you're welcome to this extraordinary room this uh, room of smiles and tears and although this is yes at times a playground it's not child's play it's really important to try and beat the banker we have 22 identical sealed boxes 11 in the East Wing 11 in the West Wing and 22 different sums of money on our game board the 1p club is gradually recruiting new members. Who is going to be answering the question, deal or no deal? So, will it be the Dream Factory or a house of horrors for... Gaz! The longest walk in television. Good guy. Uh, hello. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. I need help on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me pluck a few things from your file to allow you just to. Take a deep calm breath yep. and calm down. Gaz, Gary Hall uh, from the Isle of Wight. This is an interesting combination. He owns an ice cream parlour, but he's also a retained firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's quite an interesting idea. That, how do those two things come about? They work quite well, apart from when I have to run out of the ice cream parlour because um, all retained firefighters on the Isle of Wight have got alerters, and when they go off, you just have to sort of drop everything and run. So I've done that before in the middle of serving ice creams. So Customers are very understanding. <laughs> well, it said in your file that you believe in fate and destiny because you were actually on holiday in the Isle of Wight when you saw this shop for sale. Well, I'm from the Isle of Wight and I moved to Yorkshire with my wife, Debbie, who's in the audience here today. Yeah. You're right, Debs? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Not too nervous? <laughs> no, no. And, you uh, fibber. Sorry. You are, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to the Isle of Wight to see my parents and we saw it's for sale. Went back to Yorkshire, put our house on the market, and went for it. And it's the best move we've ever made, really. Ah, this is the ice cream that's, park. That's the ice cream park. My two children. That was on our opening day. Um, Sophie and Aaron, the two children, great kids. Um, and that's in cows. You brought a box. This was made by my children and nieces, um, and I just, should just show the banker what their expectations are. As <laughs> So that's the expectation. That's right, the OK, expectation. good. Well, nobody's that's brought their own little box before. <laughs> Have you brought a system with you? I haven't brought a system. I was going to plan and work on it today. <laughs> 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 well, do you want us to take a break straight yeah, away no. and then you can work on... <laughs> no, I'm ready now. OK, jolly good. I need you to confirm that before the show you chose box 13 at random. Sealed by the independent adjudicator, who seals all of these boxes and is the only individual who knows where the money is. And what you've now got to do is try and open boxes without finding the big money. OK. Guys, have fun, because the most important thing here is that you go away not only with a lot of money, but with a great experience yeah. as well. Excellent. <sighs> it looks totally different to sat here. <laughs> um, I've got some special numbers in my head, which I'm not quite sure when to call in. I think I'm going to call in one straight away. Sarah, box number 14, please. OK, Sarah, you're opening up this game on this Tuesday. Please get us going in a nice, positive way for Gaz. Best of luck, Gary. Thank you very much. Oh! 
I should have saved that till last. There you go. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world. The quarter of a million <laughs> has gone. Oh, sorry, Sophie. My little girl said to choose that one. OK. Well, there's one thing that we definitely know now. You are not going away as our first ever quarter of a million. Yeah, no. Just don't start picking off the rest of them. Okay, doke. Um, so I'll choose my own numbers. Uh, Emma B from the Isle of Wight as well. Number seven, please, Emma. Good luck, guys. Thank you very much. 5,000. Another red one. <laughs> All right, we're OK. Um, Patrick, throughout all the games I've been in, he's always produced the right good, so... Uh, Patrick, number two, please. Oh, no pressure, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> After that start, we definitely want to see some of the Blues going here. I hope it's what you're expecting, guys. All the best. Thank you very much. 50,000. Oh, guys, this is starting to feel like a very painful opening round. It's not the best start, but we've seen bad starts and they've turned out. Yeah. So. Um, I think we'll go for Emma D, number six, please. Emma, please get us away from the red side. Want another one like one that? More, another blue one like that, please. Yeah. Sandy, number three. Keep this going in a better direction, please. Good luck, Gary. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> he is going to be looking at that thinking, this is fantastic. This guy is simply going to take out all the big reds and go away with a small amount of money to the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Would he have the courage, actually, to keep going and use the tactic that defeats some people, which is just keep going to the end of the game? Well, bearing in mind you're also a firefighter, you're prepared to take a risk? Oh, definitely no, yes, definitely. Hmm. I hope that that might help you, because that was not the greatest opening round. Here we go. Hello, banker. I'm good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> scarcely, scarcely ever been better, was his description of his current condition. <laughs> Do you want me to ask him? <laughs> well, he wants to know your favourite ice cream flavour. <laughs> Sticky toffee fudge. See, you were wrong, it wasn't <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> Ah, uh, his is mint. Mint chocolate chip. <laughs> no, just mint. <laughs> yeah. cool. He thinks that you're not going away with much lolly and he was going on about all that sort of thing. <laughs> he is offering you, for that box now, by way of an opening offer, a thousand pounds. OK, but because you're an ice cream seller, he's going to stick a 99 in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a thousand and ninety-nine is your opening offer. Can you phone him back and so I put hundreds and thousands on him as well? Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Very good. Very good. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how much time we are gonna, we're going to take uh, <laughs> pondering on this, really. What, uh, what do you want to do? I think I'm ready for the question on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK. <laughs> At £1,099, uh, Gaz, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, guys. Okay, right. Come on, uh, Can we go for Raj with number 18, please? Make it blue, Raj. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Raj. Not 75,000 or 100,000, please. And we really want to keep the 35 and 20. Thank you. 20 is gone. You seem to have the firefighter's fixation with the colour red. Yes. <laughs> uh, we welcome June to the show. 
know what it's like on your first box. So can we have uh, number nine, please, June? Good luck. Thank you very much. Yes. You're really feeling the pressure of this, aren't you? You know, as much as I'm enjoying myself, it's a serious reason for being here, really, and I'm only going to be here once, so it's, you know, a bit of pressure. It is. You're quite right. It's tough. Um, OK. Uh, how are you feeling, Tom? I feel like this is a high one. What's happened to your throat, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Very sore. Oh, Tom. <laughs> I can't do a lot of speaking today. <laughs> well, that comes as quite a relief to us, actually. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, Tom's throat's gone, and Tom could turn out to be a real pain in the neck for this guy. Is the ice cream salesman's game about to melt away, or are we going to start having a sensible dialogue with the banker? you find out after the break. Three days stubble, no trouble. New skin and stubble from L'Oreal Men Expert. Our first moisturiser for your face and beard. A fresh, non-sticky gel for a softer feeling beard. No visible residue, leaving your skin feeling energised and hydrated every day. New skin and stubble from L'Oreal Men Expert. Available at Larger Boots. Your friends have been going on about it for months. It's the latest show. They're on Series 5. You haven't even started Season 1. <laughs> it doesn't matter, because you can get it all in your Sky Plus box whenever you want to start. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win. Or you die, you die. By order of the President of the United States, put down your weapon! I have so many surprises waiting for you. You don't want to do this. No, this is just the beginning. More box sets of the latest shows in your Sky Plus box. Sky. Believe in better. Thousands of full and part-time jobs available now. There's more than one way to be the best. Apply now. Search Army Jobs. Introducing the new deodorants that last exactly the same as the big ones. At Shure, Dove and Lynx, we found a way to compress the same protection into smaller cans. Use them just like normal, and they will last just as long and work just as well, or we will give you your money back. New compressed deodorants. Look for the small cans with the green band. Steve, I'm your inner man. Listen to me to get your share of New McCoy's ultimate. Your friends are not friends, they're hyenas. You brought them back to the table. You feed first. 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 It's the way of the tiger. New McCoy's ultimate, twice flavored, richer taste. Get your share. Short breaks from only £99 for the whole family. Call or visit haven.com. Haven, Britain's favourite seaside holiday. With thousands of paid part-time jobs available in the Army Reserve, there's more than one way to be the best. Apply now. Search Army Jobs. Thank you for joining us for the changing of the role. Yes, Tim, Andrex is up to 38% longer than other brands, which makes replacing one so rare. Majestic. Indeed, and Mum entering the throne room now. Oh, we won't be seeing a role change like that anytime soon. Magnificent. Andrex, up to 38% longer than other brands. <laughs> Pick are screening a series of films that may be unsuitable for some viewers. These films may contain disturbing visual effects. Shocking dialogue. Don't poke the alien. Scenes of a sexual nature. And Al Pacino. At Pick, we don't just watch movies. We be movies. Pick presents the concluding part of the final days of planet Earth, Tuesday at 9. Pop a bit of Pick on. Party people! What's the best party you've ever been to? 
what will be the next? Welcome to the party. Shake that. Welcome back to Gaz's game. It's a really interesting game. Taking out the 250 and the 50,000 right at the beginning, which, of course, the banker has punished him. 1,099, that was the offer to the ice cream man. But if we could get through this round, 75,000, 100,000 still intact, then that actually could suddenly turn around to be one of our most positive positions because you've got so much fallback power there. Yeah. So this is a really critical box. Tom hasn't pulled the seal. You can still change your mind. I will change my mind now, if you please. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Rich, uh, box number four, please. OK. Certain this time? Yep. No go doubt? Yeah, go for it. Yep. Rich, go for it. Not 75,000, not 100. Good luck, mate. 75,000. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling guilty now because I No, 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 no. I made a decision and um, that's, you know, it's 100,000 is a fallback. And there's a lot of blues to get rid of. Well, it's, it's going to be interesting to remember when we get to Tom what you yep. might have revealed at that point. Yeah. What are you feeling at the moment? 13 has always been a lucky number for me. My, my birthday is on the, uh, on the 13th, and um, I'm quite happy having that sat in front of me. I don't expect the offer is going to be too big at this stage. It could be a lot worse. OK. <laughs> And you're feeling okay. Yeah, calm down a bit now. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Uh, that's interesting. You've beaten him at one thing. He thought your hundreds and thousands gag was better than his 99. <laughs> <laughs> so he's conceded that. Thank you. Actually, he is showing you quite a bit of respect. It doesn't feel a huge amount at this stage, but £4,100 is available to you now if you wanted to say, enough is enough, I want to go back to the Isle of Wight. 4100 if you put it on the board, is a very, very strong offer. Yeah, and it is real money, but... Um... You're there, aren't you? Uh, yes. OK, £4,100, Gaz. Deal or no deal? No deal, no. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to have one of those rounds that proves your yep. luck has completely changed and we're going to leave the 100000 in play. Yeah. Okie doke, now, shall we have a quick one? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Let's go for it. Where are we going? Uh, Tan, box 20, please. Tan, yeah. we're having a quickie. Box 20, thank you. Good luck, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Next box. Oh. Max, box 10. Yeah. Max, we're with you at 10, and we want another one like that. Away we go. 3,000, it's OK. It's OK. And, uh, Susie, number 22. Susie, you're in now. 22, please open it straight away. 35,000. Oh. Oh. Wrong one, wrong one. Oh, uh, we've yet to have a That's round right. without a major hit in it. Raj, if this was your game, how would you be feeling at this moment? Um, it's not a very strong board, but I think, yeah, believe, just believe you've got Absolutely. 100 in there. Yeah, I'm thinking back to um, Hillary's game, and that was a game with a large amount of money, a small amount of money in it. Paid off for Hillary. Work to treat. Work to treat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You don't like the phone ringing, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you didn't surprise me, but uh, Gary seems to be frightened of the phone. <laughs> It's not great. It's two thousand and fifty pounds. Have promised the children a nice holiday. <laughs> you better keep going. The expectations <laughs> change as you go on the board. So you've promised the kids that you're going to come back with enough money for a really good holiday. Yeah. And one of the kids gave you the opening number that took out the quarter <laughs> yeah. of a million. Yeah. So if I were you, I wouldn't worry too much about the kids. <laughs> no, no, that's You've my fault. Excuse. I should have saved that till last. And um, I thought I'd call them my lucky numbers first, but there you go. Everybody here is willing you to now have your luck change, mm -hmm. but the most important thing is not to lose sight of the money. Play the money, not yeah. play the game. Serious money. So uh, if we lose the 100,000 now, yeah. You're going to be in a real predicament. I think I'm ready for the question. £2,050. Deal or no deal? No deal. No. Yeah. Come on, we are going to believe, believe that we will not see the £100,000. OK, you've had relentless bad luck in each round. We now want one of those rounds that completely changes the complexion of the game. I've seen it done before with an all-blue round at this stage. Could be lucky. Um, Pat. Uh, box number 16, please. He must retain the 10 and 15,000. And quite obviously, we mustn't touch the 100,000. Thank you, Pat. Good luck, guys. Fifteen thousand. Ooh. Now the hundred thousand really is looking horribly. There's a exposed. lot of blues out there. There's a lot of blues out there. Go on. Let's go for it. Yeah, Patricia, number seventeen's drawing me for some reason. Okay. Best of luck, guys. Thank you very Keep much. Chill. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> right, now you need another one like that. You need another blue. Do you want to choose a number? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Oh, um... Go on, that's your lucky number. Oh, yes. oh, you might blame me. No, I blame you, darling. I never blame you. Eleven. We always get a little poem, a little ode with Morris. We need it. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. You're ready yeah, with your poem? Yeah, I was born ready. OK. <laughs> Unfortunately, I doubt that you're quite ready for it, so I'm going to allow you a break <laughs> and then... The Poet Laureate will entertain us at a really critical time. If this is 100,000 in box 11, it's all over. Do come back. Happy Easter. Oh, thank you. But you've eaten its leg. Well, it's a bunny. It's supposed to hop. Easter. Why wait till Easter? Flora presents Restless by Josh. Me and Dolly made breakfast for Mummy and Daddy for their anniversary. We use lots of tasty Flora buttery. Mum says there's yummy butteriness in every tub. When we carried it upstairs, Mummy and Daddy were already awake. <gasps> Mummy won't let us watch wrestling on TV, but she seemed quite good at it with Daddy. After all that wrestling, it was just as well we made so much tasty toast. We know family life doesn't always go right, but with the tasty goodness of Flora Buttery, you know you can't go wrong. Flora, tasty goodness for all the family. We all want to get on with our lives, which is why at the Cooperative Insurance, we keep things fair and simple, while still giving you great value. 
An amazing 30% of our customers pay less than £298 for our five-star rated car insurance. You can also add our top level of breakdown cover, which includes Home Start, for just £34 in your first year. For insurance you can be sure of, go online now for a quote at cooperativeinsurance.co.uk. Hi, I'm Lucy. This is the Cheerios Campaign Headquarters. We want mums to know kids love Cheerios and they're made with full whole grains. Oh, look at that. Happy kids, happy mums. Genius. Cheerios. It's good to say yes. Mm, I love this job. Hey, mums! Cheerios have vitamin D and calcium for growing bones. I'm going to need a bigger bowl. We dream the same dream, we want the same thing. You can get wine stands out with salt, so what can you get chocolate milk stands out with? Pepper? That's my boy. We dream the same dream, we want the same thing. We're like one step away from it being totally clean again. What should we use to remove the toilet drag? Petrol. The International Emmy Award winning Moon Boy. Tonight at 9 on Sky One HD or catch up on demand. Challenge brings you an exclusive new show. The quiz that pays to remember the good times and the bad times. A bit like my wedding anniversary. In a race against the clock to put events in order. You want to take your time, but hurry up. Have you ever been this close to a superstar before? I hope you have been. <laughs> it's a game where time literally is money. <laughs> if I was a betting man, I really would have put my money on someone else. Timeline, Thursday at 9, new and exclusive to Challenge. Welcome back. Welcome back. Over here now. Welcome back to Gary's Game, which until now has been a bit of a shame. <laughs> <laughs> and we've arrived at a really crucial time where Morris is going to give us a rhyme. Yeah. Come on, guys. We can still step into tomorrow morning heaven. Let's have a blue in box number 11. Hey. This game has all the capability and energy to turn round and be one of our biggest ever U-turns. The 100,000 is still sitting there. What are you thinking? I'd be happier when the one P's gone, but you know, hundred thousand pounds, it's it's there. So could could be in there. Hello. His temptation was to stick at 2050. He then added, he wants to see you squirm. £3,000 is the offer for that box now. 3000 because he believes you haven't got the 100000 and he doesn't believe you have the nerve to go on and prove it's there. I think you get the best out of people if you treat them with respect. So I do respect his offer. At the end of the game, at the end of the day, it is a one-box game there, really. So I do respect his offer, but there's a hundred thousand pounds sat there. I'm only going to be able to sit here this once. Question. Question. Three thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, buddy. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> These three, totally yeah. vital. Let's go for um, Dave, box number five, please. Number five. Come on, Dave. Open box number five. All the best, mate. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you. 
Keep the belief going, keep the positivity yep. going. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? We've got two to the call. I don't know why I'm being drawn to box eight. And I don't know why I don't... Yeah, I'll stick with that, please, Gary. Box eight, please. Yes. Come on, mate. Yes! Gaz, you are one box away from creating one of the most significant turnarounds we've had in a deal or no deal game. It's just this box. Uh, Terry, box 12, please. Yep. Yeah. Please. Terry, no pressure. Top bloke, I love you, I'm gonna miss you. I really, really, really hope this is blue for you. Well, that's a bit different. <laughs> what the phone to ring? <laughs> that's a bit of a turnaround. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. Last time, he said he wanted you to squirm. Hmm. Now, perhaps it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> Could have said that, really. no. Hello. OK. You've achieved two things. One, he apologised for using the term Squirm. Okay. He thinks that was inappropriate. Thank you. And secondly, you have earned an offer of eight thousand two hundred pounds. Mm. Your dilemma is that if you have truly turned this game around with the belief the hundred thousand is there, are you going to throw up the opportunity of a lifetime? quite literally, the opportunity of a lifetime. Debbie, can you help in some way? Do you want to come down here and help? <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> I still love you, whatever you decide to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 8,002 is... A lot of money, but that is, you know, in some ways we owe it to the kids to try for that hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, but once that's gone, there yeah. isn't a lot left. No, that's. I know you collect sounds. What is it? Better have tried, better have tried and failed, not tried. To... Oh yeah, if you risk nothing in life, like... you risk everything. Yeah. Ready for the question? Yeah, they are for the question. Yeah. Eight thousand two hundred pounds, Gaz. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> You stay. You are staying. We're all in this together now. <laughs> you stay. Oh right. <sighs> Who's got that penny? Who's got that penny? Come on, guys. <laughs> Lofty, number one, please. Oh, it was a big gasp then. Should we reconsider? <laughs> no. You're sticking with it. Yes. Box number one, Lofty. One P, one P, one look. Go on, Lofty! One P. Yeah! <laughs> right, we want, we want your courage to be rewarded. We are two away from a dream position. Jace. Box number 21, please. Jason, you're coming into play now. Come on, Jason. 
P and you are going to get a massive offer. Okay. I've drilled to 19. So. 19. Simon, tens of thousands of pounds are now riding upon that seal, that box, and what you are now going to reveal. Thank you, Simon. Oh. Good luck, Thank you so much, guys. If you thought 8,200 was a difficult decision, I think this one is going to be very, very tricky indeed. Now you're jumping when the phone rings. <laughs> Hello. OK. He said, Gaz, that you've taught him a lesson. And now you're in a controlling position. 35,000. <laughs> I told you it was going to be a difficult one. <laughs> oh, boy. Do you have the £100,000 box? It's a very good offer. West Wing, if you think he should know deal, stand in front of your positions now, please. East Wing, if you think he should know deal, will you come and stand in front of your position? 25,000 is a difference. <laughs> so this is no deal. <sighs> you can do the maths for yourself. Your friends. <clears throat> I'll try and say it anyway. Go on, Tom. The only reason I'm standing here is because at the very beginning of the show, I said to the girls, I believe yes. I've got 100 grand in this box. Oh, you make it But that's what I said at the very beginning before even the box has got put down. Oh, but I don't want to put a spanner in the works or anything. <laughs> but it's your decision, bruv. That's why I'm standing here. You believe in this. You all right? I believe in you. OK, you ready? I'm ready for a question now. <laughs> Guys, £35,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> This. Are you ready for us? This is... Well, are you about to become? Oh dear! Our second biggest winner. Ready, guys? Darling, good luck. Whatever happens, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Really want this to be it. Yeah!
creative thinking. The game is not over. <laughs> is this for real? I think this is for real. Tom, would you please complete this extraordinary game that has seen Gaz and Debbie become our second highest winners yeah. with a hundred yeah. 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 Huge happiness, and I hope it helps to change your life. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. Thanks. Yeah. Gaz, <laughs> one. <laughs> and he's going to enjoy his one hundred thousand pounds. Well, I hope you enjoyed that show as much as uh, I did. We did. He lost a quarter of a million at the beginning. Round after round, relentless. Misfortune, and right at the end, he proved one of the most important rules if you have the courage to go all the way, you can get the big money. I wonder if we'll do that tomorrow. I think you'll be there. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah!